I went to Walgreens again in search of the Bondi Sands that I've been seeing on YouTube. The last time I was there, all I found was this one. And that's what I have on now. I'll show This is a sports bra. This is it now. Uh, I don't know how many days it's been. Mm, I can't recall. I don't remember. I don't remember when I bought it and when I applied it. I put it on, um, washed it off the next day. Then the next night I put another layer on. And I don't know how many days this is. I would, I would venture to say it's at least five days. Anyway, oh, and they didn't have the Bondi Sands knit when I went to Walgreens. So, and so I got a, mm, it smells good. I got one of these. I got the, the Ulta one. So that's what I used to apply this one. I'm going to go use a sugar scrub, scrub up. And then I'm going to use this one. This is the mitt. I'm going to see if it's any different. It was more expensive. Not much more though. Oh yeah, that feels nice. This is the, oh yeah, that's really nice. I like that one. That one's aesthetically pleasing. I like the packaging too. All right, and then I'm gonna, this is the one that I've been seeing on YouTube. It is aerated self tanning foam, ultra dark, quick dry formula, intense hydration, coconut scent. And they suggest that you leave it on for six hours. So, I'm going to do that. I guess I'll show you some of the application. I'm sure you've seen people apply self-tanning foam before, and you're probably not interested in that at all. But I'll show you a little bit, nothing, nothing in depth, and then I'll come back and show you the results. But here's... Here's, I really don't need to redo, do I? My hands are white, of course, because they get wet and get, I also get um, skin care on them, so it probably bleaches my hands. And of course, I stop here and then use foundation and bronzer to darken up my face to match. This is the Dolce Vita blush by NARS. I really like it. I got a glimpse of it in the rearview mirror on the way home and I was racking my brain to remember which blush I had used. I really like it. And um, this is three or four hours worth of water, coffee, that sort of thing. And as you can see, the collection, the collab lip liner is still there, but the rest of the lip has worn off. All right, I'll catch y'all on the flip side. After I've used my sugar scrub, I'll give you a, just a short demo of the application of the foam. Ta-ta. Okay, I'm out of the shower and I scrubbed. And I found an old bathing suit that I didn't mind getting uh, self-tanner on. So I'll be able to show a little more. Um, all right. Shake it good. Shake it. Shake it. I don't know why. I always want to put the glove on my left hand so I could use my right hand to do the foamer thing because my right hand's stronger. 
but I'm more coordinated with my right hand for okay and I've got a black towel underneath me I have white carpet so let's hope I don't it smells like I don't know there's the color it's got a green tinge to it so you don't look like a here, let me take my ring off so you don't come out looking like a Oompa Loompa. It'll be more olive. Uh -oh, which side is it on? Wow. Okay, I do, when it's the glove is a little bit dry, I do hit my hands. And I'm feathering it up my wrist. Okay. Do some more. It says put a generous amount on, but I don't want to floof any of it on my white carpet. You know what I mean? And I bring that. I get it all over. Make sure I get all my arm. Down this, like this. Okay, you can't see anything, so I'm gonna do that. It's like whipped cream. I do my neck. I bring it around. The back. Like a real tan. All right, I'm gonna do the other arm and then I'm gonna let you go so I can go get this everywhere. Why do I get it everywhere? I guess for Pat's sake. Because he likes me brown all over. Like I'm a, a native type person. All over my body. Okay, so I got the back of my hands. It is quick drying. It doesn't stay. The other one stays more sticky. This one says it's quick drying. I can appreciate that. All right, I'm going to let y'all go and I'm going to go finish this up. And I'll catch y'all tomorrow after I've rinsed it off. Ta-ta. Good morning. My tan has had, I don't see it, which one it was. But I'll show you the product right, right here. Has had an opportunity to develop all night. I can say that the... This ver not this version, this version transferred on my sheets. The version that I used for this video did not transfer on my sheets. And you can see how brown my neck is. You can see how brown my arms are. And I'll show you how brown my legs are. And there's how brown my legs are. Okay. I'm going to go shower off the marker so um, you can see the actual tan. The marker is to help you know where you've applied the product. Catch you in just a few. Okay, I've rinsed the marker off. Obviously, I did not tan my face. I did tan my neck. 
and my arms, my hands, this is what my hands look like. I wasn't careful. So if my knuckles are darker, that's user error. My legs, my feet, And this is the one that I used this time. It's the arrow. I don't know why it's called arrow. Used that and I used this mitt. Last time I used the, this product and this mitt from Ulta. I think they both work well. Um, you can see how dark I turned out. And I'm just going to match my face to the product. If you want a quick, quick tan, it's easy. I thought it was easy to apply. I applied it all by myself. I think maybe the only place that I didn't get real good was maybe the center of my back right here because I couldn't. It was fumbly. I hope you enjoyed this review and if you like these kind of videos, be sure and give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Y'all have a great day and ta-ta!